the wood we got, like for instance this uh, podium, all right? This is the concept within metal. This is the concept how it's injected to matter. We are not yet talking about spirituality. It's close, but it's not there. We are talking about concept and matter. And this is a good practice to know how to separate and how to take out the materialistic ideas out of our spiritual concepts. So when we look at this podium, for instance, there is a shape, there is matter. Oh, this is only an example to show us all spirituality. Have we ever seen? Have we ever seen this shape without matter? No. Without matter, we cannot see it. We can only imagine it, maybe. <coughs> So basically, this only gives us an example that all spirituality that we know is how it comes to matter. And our work, our practice, knowing God, is understanding more and more how spiritual things work without matter. So, Let's go back to the carpentry example. So there is the piece of wood, there is the podium, and there is the shape of the podium. If we take out the wood, we are left with only the shape. There is deeper than that. There is the mathematical equation, which are only numbers. There aren't lines and shapes in the mathematical equation, but it's still there. And if you put that same equation into the machine, you come up with this. So this is only an example to tell us that the spiritual concepts higher and higher and more abstract than what we know. And this is a good practice of beholding and... This is a very good example when we want to focus and think about God. I was looking for the right word for that, uh, for that action. And uh, when we and to think deeper and deeper and deeper than what we know and feel out like uh, <laughs> Like a banana, fill out the already known concepts and go deeper into what's inside. So, let's return to God's speech, or to speech at all. So what is speech? <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm thinking uh, simpler than that. What is the concept behind speech, any speech? It's composed of words and letters, but what is The spoken language? No. Yeah. The concept. Let's take out the vocal cords, take out the tongue, take out the mouth, and be left with only the concept of speech. What is it? Let's take sound out. Vibration is also physical.
Bitch. No. The power of idea. Bitch is simply revealing what's inside to the outside. Intention. Intention. No intention. Intention is inside. Speech is the tool of revealing what's inside to the outside. That's it. We use speech. Revealing the banana. We use speech to express. What does it mean to express? To reveal what we think, what we feel. What's inside of us that only we are aware of it, to reveal it to the outside. Alright? Now let's go a little deeper into that. If you look at yourself, in my mind, in my feelings, in your own personal world, there is only you. When do you start to interact with somebody else? Speech. Right? Meaning, when does any other existence come to your own personal world? Speech. Right? <coughs> Before speech, when you think, when you feel, when you want, there's only you. And when is there anybody else in your world? Speech, that's where it, that's where it begins. That's where the interaction between you and the rest of the world begins. So, when the, and this is what the Torah means, that when it tells us, God has created the world with speech. It means that was the beginning, that was of supposedly another existence, but God. That is when God reveals His will, like speech, what it does, it reveals what's inside to the outside. Everything is part of God, and God has revealed and created creation into existence. And this is why the Torah calls it speech.